Okay, now in this video, we want to talk about the subset, all right? Now, by definition, we have that a subset B of a set A, so if B is a subset of A, then it means that B contains some element of A, all right? Or we can say B contains every element of A. Yeah, so if B is a subset of A, it means that, now, primarily, okay, it means that B contains some, not all, elements of A, right? Or, if there are other definitions that, that, that we will have in which we will say that B contains some elements of A or every element of A, as I have written, okay? I'm going to explain that later, but let's just focus here first. Just understand the meaning of subset. Okay, so look at this diagram. We have B is in here. The set B is in here, and the set A is the one bound, boundary, bounding um, this set B. Now look at this. Set B is properly contained in the set A, okay? So that means that B is a subset of A because B lies entirely inside A, all right? So we can write that as B is a subset. So this notation here starts to show sub, 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 subset, all right? Or we can also turn things. You choose to write A first, but A is the bigger element, it is the bigger set. That is to say, it contains more elements than the set B. We can write it as A is a superset of B. Okay, so this is subset, right? Subset, then this is a superset. That is to say, it is the universal set, kind of. It contains every possible element. Then B just contains a part of it, okay, like an event when it comes to talking about the probability. Okay, but that just that. All right. Well, let me just give you a simple example here. Then after that, I will discuss um, the concept of proper subset and improper subset based on this definition, all right? When, it, when we say if B contains some or every, some or every, so that, that would let take us to talking about the proper subset. Proper subset is when it is properly contained, that is, it lies entirely inside another set A, then improper subset means it is the same as A. That is, the blue line here, this blue also matches with the black line, just like that. That means they are equal, right? It's, or, yeah, that just it. it means that they are equal because if it contains every element of the set A, then it's the same thing as the set A. Okay, so in this example, now define A to be a set containing Numbers, right? I will not call it even numbers actually. This is 2, 4, 6, 8, and 6, 10, okay, to 12. So those are the elements of the set A. So I want to use the example to explain when we say subset, right? And when we say superset. Right, so you just know that this is a superset. It's a way of saying that B, since B is a subset of A, then A is a superset of B, right? So if A is 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, hmm. and B is 4, 6, 12. So this shows us that B relates with A. How? We have 4 here, and 4 is in A, alright? We have 6, and 6 is in A. We have 12 here, and 12 is in A. But A contains other elements, alright? Like 2, it contains 8. In, of which B does not contain, right? That means that B is a subset of A. Which implies that A is a superset of B. Another example here, be very careful with this one. We have 2, 4, 6, 10. Here's the question for you. Is C a subset of A? Look at it. This is 2, 4, 6, well, if it stopped here, it would be the same thing as this, but no. If it stopped here, okay, if it stopped at 6, we will we'll say that C is a subset of A, but we've included an element, 10. Now, look, 10 is in C, but 10 is not in A, so that means that C is not a subset of A, because C does not lie entirely inside A, right? There is an element that is out of A, so that external element makes C or the exterior element makes it not to be a subset of A, even though A contains more elements than the set C. But since um, 
C does not contain elements from A, it contains other elements which are not in A, then C is not a subset of A. So we can write that as C is not a subset of A. So you just write the subset, then you now cross it okay, to show that you destroy it. Alright, so another thing here is to consider this set D. Hmm, this is very, very nice. We have D to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12. We're just writing it scatteredly. Um, if someone asks me, how, how do you get this like, kind of sequence to generate this? Well, I'm just doing to illustrate to you guys, alright? So don't question me on this, actually. So D is all of these. Now, is D a subset of A? D contains one, A does not. So automatically, D cannot be a subset of A because D has an element that A does not have, which shows that D has more elements than A. That is what it means, actually, without even looking at it first, or without even looking at other things. It shows that D may have other more elements than is in A. So two is here and two is here, four is here and four is here, six is here and six is here, eight is here, eight is here, twelve is here, twelve is here. But D contains more elements than the set A, not in terms of number, like in terms of cardinality, no. But the, the terms of the element, actually, okay, the element itself. So D contains more elements than the set A. This shows us that D is what? Is a superset of A, okay? This also tells us that what? A is a, a subset of D, all right? So that is just it. Okay, so that is more about subsets, subsets, subsets. So we will stop here, and in the next video, I will talk about proper subset and an improper subset, all right? So maybe I will keep this definition, and then I will just try to discuss the difference between a proper subset and an improper subset. Okay, thanks for watching, and move back to the next video.